Bear. I am a fourth grader at Jimmy Tallybrashier Elementary School. What do you know about Phyllis Wheelie Peters? Phyllis Wheelie Peters is believed to have been born in Ghana, West Africa. Around the age of seven, she was seized from her home and enslaved in America. She was named Phyllis after the ship that took her to America. Phyllis was bought by the Wheatley family and given the last name of Wheatley. While Phyllis was enslaved by the Wheatleys, their daughter taught Phyllis about the Bible, astronomy, geography, history, British literature, and the Greek and Latin classics. Phyllis began writing poems and had one published at the age of 13. The Wheatley's son took her to London, where she performed and had a book of poetry published. Phyllis Wheatley Peters became one of the best known poets in pre-19th century America and the first American person of African descent to have her work published. She even got to meet George Washington because of the fame surrounding her poems. Despite this fame, Phyllis had a difficult life. Before they died, the Wheatley family emancipated her and Phyllis married John Peters on April 1st, 1778. They had three children, but each of them died as babies. Phyllis died on December 5th, 1784 in Boston, Massachusetts, while her husband was in prison for death. Although people tried to take away her humanity, Phyllis Wheatley Peters was one of the best poets of her time. She wrote, through thick as gloom, look back, immortal shade, on that confusion which thy death has made. Phyllis Wheatley Peters was a black pioneer and is an important part of American history.